Hey beauties, welcome to another Ipsy unbagging and try on video. May's glam bag theme is Ipsy Summer Friday, so of course I had to dress accordingly. As usual, I'm going to complete my makeup look with the products I received, but first I'll show you what I got. Starting with this cute jelly waterproof bag, love the summery ice cream design. First item in my bag is this organic nail polish from Adesse, I don't know how to pronounce it, in the color Surfer Girl. Next item is this Royal and Langenickel Precision Angled Brush, already loving how fluffy it is. I also received this Pacifica Island Life Eyeshadow Palette, this Urban Decay After Glow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter, and the last item is this Starlux Pro Lux Pen which is pointed on one end and star shaped on the other. Now to test these products out starting with this golden shade from the Pacifica palette. As soon as I put it on I was surprised to see that the color payoff wasn't too good. I thought it would be more vibrant but since it was looking a little dull I knew I had to whip out my rose water spray. And as you can see, wetting the product makes a big difference. Adding a second coat to each eye so the color really comes through. Now to test out this precision brush, I'm going to take this skinny dip shade and apply it to my brow bone and crease. And always remember to tap off excess product, never blow on your brushes. The brush is blending nicely and for the purpose of this video I used it for my eyes but because of the size of the brush I think I'll be using this for other things like powder under my eyes and around the curves of my face and it may even work best for contouring. Going back into the Pacifica palette I'm going to apply the shade Sandalwood to my bottom lash line just to create some definition. Overall, I think the shadows could have been a lot more pigmented, but I do like the size of the palette for travel. Moving on to the Starlux Pro Liner, I'm creating a simple wing. And since I'm trying this product for the first time, I'm not focusing on getting a perfect wing, I just want to see if I like how the product works. And so far I like the precision of the marker and I love that it's rich in color without being too wet or messy. It's hard for me to find a liquid liner I'll have great control over so I think I'll be using this quite often. Now for the fun part, I'm going to use the star stamp side of this liner to add some summer flair to my look. I love products like this because it helps to keep me creative as an artist. And at this point I noticed my wing liner was so uneven but I didn't care because I was having fun with these stars and that's exactly what makeup should be anyway, fun. Finishing my eyes off with a few coats of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And the final product I received in my May Glam Bag is this Urban Decay After Glow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter. And immediately I was happy to see the glow come through and I didn't even have to wet the product so I can only imagine how much more this would pop if I did. Now that my look is complete, my favorite products from this month's Glam Bag has to be the eyeliner and the highlighter. I'll definitely be using these all summer long. So that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Ipsy summer themed look. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye beauties!